today I'm nude for new tones. I was wearing this, I wanted to put some gold jewelry. Work in this color mood. First thing I'm gonna do though is put a little bit of serum because my skin, that's pregnancy, feels really dry. I already did my skincare this morning. I can never put enough cream right now. Yeah, I wish I could have this glow all the time, which is gone. I'll come back after baby. <laughs> I want to start with foundation stick just to use under my eyes a little bit where I need to remove some shadows I'm gonna use with my finger on this below part of my dark circle because I like the shadow here I feel like it's giving me a natural eyeshadow so I don't want to erase that but this guy there annoys me because it's like I feel like it's so down that it's like in the middle of my my cheek apply the texture here and then I Blend it up just to have a sort of a ombre. And then I'm going to do it again. I have this like red dot since I got pregnant, which is really weird. I found that I don't need to really hide that much. I just put a bit of concealer like this, and then it turn it removes a kind of bit of the redness. It looks more like a freckle or a beauty mark than um, this weird... Like here too, I have one. I don't know what that is. The same. I don't want to completely hide it. I feel like just putting a bit of this on top is enough. I'm basically reaching these two points. So the dark circles and the nostril. Just like trying to recreate this very smooth, bright area Can you see the difference like okay i have these dark circles but also it looks more flat i feel like here i look like bing <laughs> so i do the same i'm gonna apply the part that is the most down on my face and then i'm patting up then nostril and then i Join both, if I can say that, both down. One thing I always want to do is see how I'm a bit more dark here. Maybe for this because it's a bigger area, I'm gonna use a beauty blender so it goes faster. So, chin of the lip. I'm gonna have a little bit on the beauty blender and I'm gonna apply it on my eyelid because I want to create like a sort of a nude liner. And because my eyelid is quite dark, I wanna, you know, create a more brighter base so you have a contrast to see well the liner. But if I don't do that, then I will not erase this shadow because I like it. It gives me some dimension. And then I'm just making sure it's all blended well. So basically I did like really like this part of my cheeks with a nostril and this part. Sort of something like this. And then I put a little bit on the eyelid and blend a little bit here as well. The biggest focus is really this part for me and then a little bit around the lip. Even though I have a few spider veins here or more redness, it's fine. Highlighter now. And for this, I'm gonna use my finger as well. Okay, I like to grab all the apple and the cheekbone. And especially right now that my skin is so dry, it's very helpful to have a creamy highlighter. So the idea is not to focus on having a metallic highlight, but more of a nice dewy texture. And then the cupid's bow. And the inner corner of my eye. And cheek. So this is really gonna help to bring back some dewiness on my skin. For blush, I got this thing on Amazon. It's an ink lips. And I really love the color because it's sort of a coral color. And I'm gonna use it on my cheeks as well. So I like to go and pat. I like I apply it and then I pat it so it looks more natural. And then I'm gonna grab a bit on my finger. And Focus on the apple. I love to have the same color on my lips and my cheeks because it looks more natural. Voila. Then eyes. I'm gonna go first actually with um, with this nude. So that's for me just for fun. I just want to create like a beautiful nude color mood. And I'm gonna 
and I like to go even up my eyebrow. I go up to my brow bone. And when this is done, I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. This. And I'm gonna just draw a liner. You can also wet the eyeshadow to make a more defined liner, but I kinda wanna keep it soft. So I'm just gonna draw a line as the eyeliner. So for the shape, what I love to do is I love to follow the direction of my bottom lash and connect it to my eyebrow, you know? So basically something like this. So you can even like start here and then go, go, go. And then you kind of know where to put your line. Doing an eyeliner with an eyeshadow is a much more easy. And also there's something more soft to it. It's not as hard. If you have anything that fell out, you can just, you know, blend it up with your beauty blender. I love the Shuimura because it's really grabbing all my lashes and curling them for the longest time of, compared to every other ones I tried. I like to do is like do one eye and then right away put the mascara this mascara is pretty good because it's really gonna with a curl it's really gonna grab the roots so i'm gonna do another layer i'm just gonna wait for this to dry so i'm gonna do the other eye in the meantime So one thing I notice when I do my mascara is that maybe I need a little bit more, tiny bit more definition in the lash line. So I can grab this guy and the black from the palette uh, from below in my lash line. It would just give a little bit more intensity. Just a little something. I'm just gonna add a little bit more concealer right there. Especially when you work with brown or and your oily skin, I feel like in general it's gonna show your dark circles a bit more. But I, it's easy. Then I just add a little bit more concealer than I usually do. Again, touch of this guy. Right. Voila, I think that's it. Quite like to have a, a liner that is a light color because I feel like it's pushing my own eye color, fits my dress, fits my hair color as, as well. But it's part of my look. It doesn't look like a huge statement like, oh, I made a liner. I, I feel like it's blending more with everything and I want this look to be quite effortless and fresh. That's why I picked this color for my dress. But I would suggest for eyes to go a bit redder because I've noticed that the warmth will push your eye color even more. Voila. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm gonna go to work. I was happy to show you this look. A little touch of color, a little je ne sais quoi that brings something to your look without looking too strong. See you soon.